Cleaned, repaired, and now painted. Only took six months. Probably slow for a pro, but hopefully fast for a weekend warrior. I can happily say that this task was a lot more straightforward, and I only ran into a couple of hiccups along the way. Follow along as I prep, seal, prime, seam seal, paint, and clear coat the underbody of this 1972 Corolla. And as always, I'll be sharing my beginner findings along the way. Before we start, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my patrons. If you enjoy my work and want to support the channel while also seeing the decisions made behind the scenes, you should definitely check it out. Let's get to it. The solution I used contained phosphoric acid, and after the chemical reaction it turned the remaining rust black, which the instructions said was the indicator that it was ready. I used phosphoric acid because I knew it would really etch the metal for applying paint. It also indicated that it should be dry before primer, which I think I added a little too soon, which added some complications. I also had Uncle Brad stop by the living room and he gave me a couple tips on using a paint gun as he's painted playgrounds before. Good old Uncle Brad. I originally thought this was a primer as it clearly says primer on the can, but after watching some videos from DIY Auto School, he had the same frustration, and I learned this is a sealer as some primers won't stick to bare metal. I liked it. That's, that's the only thing I liked about it. I got away with it. I got away with it. Consistent, which is fine. Overlap. I want I want to overlap it again? Yes, on every pass, a 50% overlap because then you're covering each square inch twice. You let go and you restart on every pass. I've seen guys do a flick and they flick out. Yep, and they flick that out. works too. Something like that. Yep. This? That's perfect. That's perfect? Yeah. All right, let's try it out. Yeah, so even like this corner, you would do like this mm -hmm. and then like this. Okay. There were a lot of areas that the rust converter didn't dry up, especially on shelf areas that could pool up. I had to wipe the whole car down before applying the next coats. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a hold of a two-part high-build primer for my spray gun and had to resort to using spray cans. Although it had good control in tight spaces, my hands hurt like hell after a few coats.
Okay, I have just gotten the first coat down and I'm gonna be applying seam sealer. It's a urethane seam sealer. Uh, and then I will be applying my last coats over top of it to make everything black. Uh, we'll see how much paint I have, either another one coat or if I'm lucky, I'll get another two coats. Uh, yeah, and then clear coat. Okay, so I've, I've basically got all the seams done. I just uh, smoothed them out with my finger. Uh, I just got the main stuff, you know, down the middle. And I also did around my welds, because uh, there's a couple of holes in there. So what can you do? Uh, I might touch up a little bit. It says it takes an hour to cure. And then I'm gonna put another coat of paint over, maybe another one, and then a clear coat. So you can see that it's, it has come out little by little and you can see the, the gloss. It also shows all the imperfections. So when it was matte and just a base coat, you know, it looked really, it looked a lot better, but now I can see every little problem, but it's, it's the undercarriage. So when I see these guys painting, they're going at it. It looks like a really wet coat, but when I was doing it, it's, it was barely coming out and I still have, you know, almost half uh, half of my quart left. So uh, I'm gonna turn up the pressure and hopefully it sprays better. It's like there's nothing there. This is wide open. I just so little. I don't, I don't get it. I got a 1.4 on here. This stuff super, super thick in here. And I've been watching some videos, Paint Society, and I think, I think what's wrong is my pressure's way too low. I added a little bit of thinner to this uh, just to bring it down, but maybe it's my air pressure, so I'm gonna try to, you know, fix this. Anything coming out of there? I can't tell if it's <laughs> doing anything. I think that's already better. I know it's coming, I know it's there, so. So because it was so thin, I ended up putting like five coats of clear on. I only really noticed that it worked when I came back later that evening and found it had all hardened up. It was really nice to the touch, although a little rough looking. Like many of you, I had looked into putting a bed liner under the car, and when I put a post out, many had backed the idea. And although popular, there's just something about it I don't trust. A thick, rigid coating under your vehicle that although can take more abuse, I think if any problems occur, which is likely, because I'm a beginner, moisture can get trapped and rot away the undercarriage without me being able to inspect it. So for now, I'll just stick with the paint and clear coat and keep an eye if any damage occurs. Yeah, so it looks really nice and I think it's a half decent job for protecting the car on the road, especially compared to the condition it was in. I can finally move away from the body of the car and start to focus on restoring the parts. Hope to see you there.